I'm like Mr. Glass over here, and I hope you're unbreakable, Bruce Willis. That's what I was gonna say. That means you're my uh, nemesis, right? Yeah. I promise, I'm not gonna jump up and down or anything crazy. Yeah, I know. It's just an old structure, and it looks like crappy foundation, and it's like a 60. You're 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 honestly concerned. Yes. Wow. Alpha 89, Charlie, take one. 24 Alpha, take one. And cut. That's cut. Tail kills. How's that bug? <laughs> Common slate. 62 Echo, take one. Okay, good job. Got it. Where do I look? Do I look at you? Hmm. Um. Uh. Hmm. Um. My job is to make sure that Chappie doesn't screw up this movie. And I have failed. Who's Chappie? Yeah. Hmm. Wrong interview. Basically, it's about a small town called Scratcher Pass, who used to be the world's leading asbestos mining operation in the world. Obviously, they had some bad PR because of that. The only thing keeping the town alive now is the fact that they have um, their most famous resident on display in the gift shop, Sudsy Slim, the corpse of Sudsy Slim. Two escaped convicts from the prison across the mountain range stumble into town, realize the only way out of town is to kidnap Sudsy, hold him for ransom, and of course the town goes crazy. And uh, they bring in a law enforcement officer from outside and try to solve the problem. I didn't think it would be as much fun as it was. I thought it would be more stressful. But I feel like I'm actually sad it's over because I feel like we were one big family. There was no drama. Everybody got along. So by the time we started filming Sudsy, I had a much better idea of how Bert would be and what he would be, like what his motivation would be and what he was being driven by. There's some really, really like, genuinely great performances. And I think a lot of, uh, I think Zach kind of used this role as an outlet for some of his own personal aggression. <laughs> and he's scary at times, uh, but it's also, he can be really funny in the exact same scene. Um, and uh, it's, that's really fun to watch. I had the concept of him down by like day two and, and my voice was different and I was just more gruff and I got to slap Joel around a bit and like the characters of Bert and Andy I feel like came together plus we had that connection you know because most of the time it was just us on set so we were able to build that connection as well. You show up and they light you. It was all very new for me. <laughs> we try to block, light, and shoot, which is figuring out what the actors are going to be doing, rehearsing that, then Matt comes in with his team and he lights it. By 9 o'clock that night, they'll say action, and then uh, I say my lines and I hit my mark. And then he says cut. I was always told, draw what you know. Uh, with my comic strip, draw what you know. And so when doing these movies, my brother and I try to incorporate things that we know, use what you know, and use what you have access to. And so we try to take advantage of that. How much goes into making a movie? I didn't realize that you shoot a movie completely out of order, which was hard, because every time you show up for a scene, you're like, okay, well, where is my character mentally? So I, I just learned, I just really appreciate how much goes into making a movie, and I, I understand why it takes so long. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> It's very hard to remember things verbatim, <laughs> is the thing I learned and was reminded of constantly. It's really challenging to make it clear what it is you're trying to say in each shot. And I found, like with Moose, um, the scenes that you really, really, really want to work well, quite often they, they don't work the way you want them to, but then it's made up for by the fact that there's all these other scenes that you didn't really put a lot of thought into that came out so much better. Because you can have a really funny joke that's written, you can have a, uh, a great performance, but how do you capture it? That's the hardest part. My favorite location to shoot? Anywhere in Hatcher Pass. Hatcher Pass. At Independence Mine, probably. That's probably everybody's answer, huh? Because it was really fun. The overall scale feels bigger. I think a lot of that is because we film more in Hatcher Pass. 
you can't beat it. Always the view. There is not a day on set when you're filming in Alaska that isn't absolutely gorgeous. Even when you have to wait for the rain to clear, you're still surrounded by the most beautiful scenery there is. And cut! That was a cool ending. And I've learned so much more on this set. Everything else I did, everything we did in Moose was just baptism by fire. And in this case, it was a lot more preparedness, a lot more growing, whereas Moose was learned by doing. Sudsy was learned before doing. One of the coolest things for sure is when you do a scene and you get everyone behind the camera laughing. Because you know, at the end of the day, this is still a comedy and you see Chad or you know, so, you know, someone else on the crew just laughing then, then you know that you've done something. You've achieved something pretty good right there. Looking at that entire group of people, 25, 30 people sometimes, all at once, and realizing that they're all there for the same reason. We're all trying to do the same thing. We're trying to make a movie that's gonna entertain people, that's gonna make people smile. You know, it's not gonna change the world, but it's gonna, it's gonna spread some, some happiness and joy. And uh, that might sound corny, but that's why I do my comic strip too, is because I like to make people laugh. I like to make people happy. There's enough garbage out in the world everybody deals with already. We don't need, we don't need any more serious, depressing stuff. Uh, we need more things to uplift, and, uh, and hopefully that's what this movie does. Cut!